Welcome to Lockpicking Legend. And we are looking at another legend today, the Leashy Pick. This is an HU66 lock. These are used on Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, uh, Porsche, some Skodas. And as you'll see, the Leashy Pick will plow through this lock in about a minute. The, the, these picks changed the way we pick vehicles. They came out in about 2000, I think, by a Chinese man, Zi Qing Li. And his family name is Xi. So he took his last name, Li, put it with his family name, and you got Li Xi. And they really are a dream to use. Watching this short five minute video, you'll learn how to use these picks. And I, I'm serious. There are the odd idiosyncrasies, but you'll pick it up. That's the HU66 lock opened. This is the HU64 lock. These open Mercedes. Because different locks are on different vehicles, sometimes the leashy pit will only open one vehicle. Like the HU64 is only really on the Mercedes. But it will open all Mercedes from about the year 2000 to the present day. So we put the, lock, the pick in the lock, we go through all the wafers using that little tail, see the little tail on the, the bit I'm pushing down, and we just do that to make sure that the pick is nicely lined up in the lock. It's hard to get it wrong because the design of the pick means you can't really put it in too far, but it's always worth checking because well, because if you get it wrong, you could be there all day. But as you see, there's no resistance there, so it's in the right place. I apply tension, and then I go through the wafers, um, just like I previously did, and I'm looking for resistance. If it's springy, I leave it. But if there's resistance, like there is there, I pick it. Much like picking uh, pin cylinder locks, because resistance means it's binding. So I keep moving through them and I keep looking for resistance or springy. I use the other pick to do the top section that's binding, that's picked. The design of this pick is actually quite incredible and as much of a game changer this was in car lock picking, I think just over a year ago Li Shi brought out a couple of these picks but for pin cylinder locks. They brought out one for the Schladge 5 pin, one for the Schladge 6 pin, one for the quick set 5 pin, and one for the quick set 6 pin. And, and it's the same process, and it works just as well. I mean, applying tension on the leash is crazy. It's not like um, cylinder lock picking, where people say, oh, it's 99% of picking the tension. You've got such a wide window of tension when picking these locks. It's untrue. Sometimes you'll have to go through the wafers twice because they, locks will actually have security wafers. They're, they're serrated, much like serrated pins. So the first time you feel it binding, you'll pick it and think, job done. But then when you get through all of the wafers, you'll see that it um, hasn't opened. So that will mean you've got some, a serrated wafer and you'll have to go through them again, like that one. And um, that was the one that was required. So yeah, sometimes you'll have to go through all the wafers twice. It's like an extra 20 seconds. <laughs> Here we've got the HU100. These will open, uh, these locks are used on, sorry, Vauxhall, Opal, uh, Buick, Cadillac, Chevy. Again, the HU100, uh, a well-used lock in vehicles. There is a little bit of controversy around the leashy picks regarding what ones are genuine. I use the ones with the leashy silhouette on them. There's a silhouette of Mr. Lee printed on the pick. There are other leashies that have got a square box with the word leashy in them. Um, years ago, leashy done a deal with an English company called Trade Locks. And uh, leashy allowed them to sell um, leashy picks in the UK. But I think, if I'm right, that deal ended in 2014 and there's, there's no connection between the two companies uh, today. 
what you want to call genuine or authentic leashy is your call but i use the ones with the um silhouette of uh, mr lee on them and they're fantastic that was binding that's springy binding picked i think there you go. There's about 80 different leashy picks. And like I said, ones like the HU66 open six or seven different cars and the HU100, some open just one. Um, you know, roadside recovery companies uh, absolutely love these picks. I've I've never known a, a, a lockpick to be so endlessly effective. You know, they just work. The only time I've seen a leashy pick fail in the last, what, 15 years since I've been in this game was when uh, the lock turned out to be 40. So, you know, take from that what you want. This is the Maz 24. This... this, this this pick will open all Mazdas from about 98 to the present day. Actually, something I should have said, this lock has only got eight wafers. It's an eight wafer lock, and although you'll see on the pick this, it, there's ten wafers, that's just because they use the same print on all of the picks. All the locks I've picked today have only got eight wafers, except for the HU64, which has got 10. Sorry, I should have said that. But this is information you find out when you buy the picks, and, and if you don't get that information, talk to your supplier, because they should know that stuff. So there you go. I've been through all the wafers. I've applied tension, and you, know, you can clearly see that little tail on the pick here. See this one? It's only got the one the one tool to use for both up and down. I mean, you know, that's that's just how they come. Some work like that, some don't. And of course, you can also uh, decode the lock with these picks. You might be wondering what those other um, five numbers on the side are. Well, they're going to help you with uh, depths. So you've got the number of the wafer as well as the depth of the wafer. So if you wanted to decode the the lock and uh, potentially supply the customer with a key, you can do it, you can decode it with these picks. Leashy originally made just decoders. The, uh, they, they started off selling decoders and the, they sort of progressed to these uh, decoders and picks, which is why I think they're called two-in-one picks. This is the KY14, this will open Kia and Hyundai. When you buy a leash, you get it in a box and you get a master and you get a lot of blanks as well. And leash, you sell a, 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 a key cutter, like a handheld key cutter. They're like a, it's like a heavy duty pair of pliers with a, a little nipper at the end that cuts the sort of the key shape. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I've had no success with that. I'm sure someone, uh, um, yeah, up to you. <laughs> but you can certainly decode them. That isn't uh, that isn't something I am dubious about. They're just brilliant picks. Are they fun for hobby lock pickers? I'd say yeah. I mean, get yourself down your local breakers yard with a couple of leashy picks. You'll have a good laugh. How do I know? I've done it. First time I'd done it, they let me walk around on my own. Second time I'd done it, I had the three blokes that run the breakers yard follow me around the place and had a few goes at picking them themselves. Then they wanted to know where they could get some from. And they were picking them that day. There you go, that's open. Five locks in a matter of minutes. Leashy. Absolutely fantastic. 